Okay, so uh, today we're diving into something that hits close to home for a lot of us. Yeah. Cars. Yeah. And you know that feeling when you finally get your hands on that dream car? Yeah. The one you've been working towards? You finally feel like you've made it. I know that feeling, yeah. Right. But then imagine that dream car, the one you put so much into, turning out to be, well, a fire hazard. Uh-oh. Yeah, uh-oh is right. And that's exactly what's happening right now with hundreds of thousands of BMW owners. Yeah, this is a big one. Over 720,000 vehicles were recalled just last year in 2023. And we're not talking about just any BMWs. This recall impacts their top of the line models, the X5, the X6, even the 5 Series. These are cars known for, you know, their engineering. Exactly. So a recall at this size, it's definitely a big deal. I mean, we hear about recalls every now and then, but a fire risk, that's a whole other level of scary. Absolutely. So let's break it down. What exactly is the problem here? So it all starts with, believe it or not, a coolant leak. Might not sound like a huge deal at first, right? Right. But it's all about the location of this leak. It's happening in the EGR system, which stands for Exhaust Gas Recirculation. And as you can probably guess, that system involves some really high temperatures. Okay, so EGR system. Not exactly a term I use every day. Mm. So... For those of us who aren't car mechanics, what's going on in there? Okay, so in the simplest terms, the EGR system is designed to reduce emissions. Okay. And it does this by basically taking some of the exhaust gases and redirecting them back into the engine for kind of a second burn. Interesting. It's actually a pretty standard feature in cars these days. Oh, okay. But the thing is, it involves parts that get incredibly hot, as you can imagine. Right, because we're talking about exhaust. We're talking about basically the combustion that's happening in the engine. Exactly. So we've got coolant, which is supposed to prevent overheating, leaking onto these super hot engine parts. Mm -hmm. I'm sensing that's not good. You're catching on. Yeah, that is not a good combination. Uh -huh. You've got the leaking coolant, the intense heat, and on top of that, you've got carbon deposits that naturally build up in the EGR system. Mm -hmm. Mix all that together, and you've got yourself a serious fire hazard. Okay, hold on. Carbon deposits, what are we talking about there? So imagine you've got a campfire going, right? And over time, the wood burns down and you're left with that black, sooty residue. Carbon deposits are kind of like that. They form on the inside of the EGR system because of the hot exhaust gases. And here's the thing, they can actually act like fuel when they come into contact with the leaking coolant and the hot engine components. Oh, wow. So it's like a chain reaction. Exactly. Waiting to happen. It can be very dangerous. And we're not just talking about a little smoke here, are we? We're talking about a serious fire risk. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We're talking about a potential engine fire. Imagine this happening while you're driving down the highway at 60 miles an hour. Oh, my. Yeah, and it's not just a hypothetical scenario either. It's a real danger, and it has happened. We actually have a firsthand account from a BMW owner who went through exactly that. He was driving on the highway, and all of a sudden, he sees smoke coming from under the hood. Imagine the shock. And sadly, this wasn't just a one-off thing, you know. Yeah. We're talking about a recall of over 720,000 vehicles here. That's a crazy number of cars. Yeah. And to think that each one could be a potential fire risk, it's kind of mind-blowing. Makes you wonder how something like this slips through the cracks, especially with a company like BMW, you know known for their engineering. Right, and that's the thing. This recall really raises some serious questions about quality control, even within these big-name brands. It's a little unsettling if you think about it. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's a reminder that even the most sophisticated car manufacturing processes out there, they can still have weaknesses. So if it can happen to a company like BMW, it makes you wonder, what about all the other car manufacturers, you know? You're right to wonder that. This situation really highlights how important it is to, you know, for people to stay aware of these kinds of things and for there to be that independent oversight within the industry. For sure. So once BMW realized there was a problem, what did they do to address it? Well, to their credit, they did take action. They issued a massive recall. And think about it, coordinating repairs for over 720,000 vehicles all over the world, that's a huge undertaking. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. BMW basically told their dollarships to inspect and replace the faulty EGR parts, all free of charge to the owners. Okay, well, that's good at least. Yeah. But was it enough? I mean, did they act as quickly as they could have? Well, that's the question a lot of drivers are asking, right? <laughs> right. And it's a valid one. It's good that they're addressing the issue. But, you know, could they have found and fixed this problem sooner? 
It's hard to say for sure. Especially considering that multiple drivers had already reported some scary situations because of this issue. Exactly. It wasn't just a potential risk. It was a real danger playing out on the roads. Right. So it makes you think about how car manufacturers balance the need to do thorough testing with the need to respond quickly when safety defects are found. It's got to be a tough position to be in. It really is. That There's is no easy answer. But it definitely highlights the importance of transparency and accountability from these car companies. Yeah, for sure. When it comes to safety, people deserve clear information and decisive action. Absolutely. So looking beyond this particular recall, what are some of the bigger takeaways? Especially for, you know, everyday drivers like us, uh -huh. what do we need to be thinking about? Well, I think one important thing to keep in mind is that no car manufacturer is perfect. Right. Mistakes happen, even with these brands that we think of as, you know, being the best of the best. So it's not about, like, pointing fingers. It's about understanding that even the most advanced engineering can still have vulnerabilities. Oh. What else, though? What else should we be mindful of, especially since, you know, we all get behind the wheel ourselves? Another important takeaway from all of this is that even small parts in a car can have a massive impact on safety. Like, Take the EGR valve, for example. It might seem like a minor component, right? But as we've seen, a problem with it can snowball into a really serious safety hazard. It's like that butterfly effect. Yeah. One small change can lead to unintended and potentially huge consequences. Exactly. And it shows how important meticulous design, manufacturing, and maintenance really are. Every single part, every connection matters. Makes you think twice about ignoring those dashboard warning lights. I know, right? Those warning lights are there for a reason. <laughs> They're trying to tell us something. They're your early warning system. Brushing them off can have some, well, you know, serious consequences. Yeah, it's like you were saying earlier, every part, every connection, it all matters. And this isn't just about BMW, is it? I mean, this whole thing really makes you think about, like, the bigger picture of car manufacturing in general. Absolutely, yeah. When a company known for its high-end engineering like BMW has a recall this big, it really makes you wonder, what's going on across the entire industry? Exactly, yeah. If it can happen to a company like BMW, it can happen anywhere, right? So what does this recall tell us about quality control in the car industry as a whole? Well, that's the million-dollar question, isn't it? I think this situation has definitely put a spotlight on just how complex car manufacturing really is and the challenges of catching every single potential problem. Right. It really underlines the need for, you know, rigorous testing at every single stage, from design to assembly. Everything has to be looked at really carefully. It also makes you think about all the pressure these car manufacturers are under these days. Well, for sure. I mean, they're constantly rolling out new models, new technology. They're trying to keep costs down. It's easy to see how something could you know, slip through the cracks. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the pressure to innovate and stay competitive is huge. But as we've seen with this recall, even small oversights can have really, really big consequences. And it raises questions about whether the industry maybe needs to kind of rethink its approach to quality control in this age of, you know, super rapid technological advancement. Yeah, it's kind of like building a house of cards. You know? uh, totally. One weak link and the whole thing can come crashing down. Exactly. And it just goes to show that every single component, no matter how small, plays a really crucial role in the overall integrity of a vehicle. So as we wrap up our deep dive here into BMW's huge recall, the coolant leak issue, the fire hazard. What's that one key takeaway you want to leave with our listeners? What's the one thing you really want them to remember? I think the biggest thing is just to stay informed. Knowledge is power, especially when it comes to your own safety, right? And I think this recall is a really good wake-up call for all of us, no matter what kind of car we drive, to pay attention to what's happening in the automotive world. Meaning, don't just toss those recall notices in the trash, right? <laughs> exactly. They might seem like a hassle, but they're there for a reason. You know, stay informed about your own vehicle, check for recalls regularly, and if something seems off, don't hesitate to take your car to a mechanic. Get it checked out. Because in the end, a little awareness can go a long way in preventing a potential disaster. Couldn't agree more. Well said. And for our listeners who want to delve a little deeper into this recall, or maybe just learn a little bit more about car safety in general, make sure to check out our show notes. We'll have links to some additional resources there for you. Until next time, drive safe, everyone. And as always, stay informed.